This one is g of h of x. We're going to be combining these two functions together. And when we have this open circle here, this is not g times x. The open circle means it's g of x. Sometimes you'll see it written as this, g of h of x. Either way here, it really doesn't matter. They mean the exact same thing. Now, what I always do is the one that's on the right, in this case, it's the h. Notice how it's the h in both scenarios. The one that's on the right, we are going to plug in, the one that's on the right here, we're going to plug in for the other one. That sounds a little bit confusing. So let's look at it here. H is the one that's on the right in both of these two. So I'm going to take H here, and I'm going to plug it in for X over here. Whatever my X value is, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to take this H on this side, the entire quantity, and plug it in over here for G. For X, just the X value. So if I do that, then that gives me X plus 2 squared. My X plus 2 is this H value here squared. I'm just plugging this in for X. The square does not change, that still remains there. Okay, so whatever's listed on the right-hand side, or whatever's listed second, if you want to think of it that way, that's fine as well. If you, Whatever's listed second, we're going to take that entire quantity and plug it in for x in the previous one, g in this case. So if I do that, x plus 2 squared is the same thing as x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is, if I FOIL this out, this is x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 which gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4. The big thing here is whatever's come listed second, h in this case, we take that entire quantity and plug it in just for x.